Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I am back with a small, just a tiny one, perfume haul. Um, I already did a massive one so I have no idea why in such a short period of time I have another perfume haul. Well, I know, I, I love perfumes. I can't stop buying. I just can't. I'm trying. I can't. Anyway, we got in here five perfumes. I already talked about one of them, so it's not going to be the longest video. We have niche and then we have one designer, but it's private collection. So they're not the most affordable, but they're not also like the most expensive. Like they're decent. They're a decent price. And I think all of them are absolutely amazing for the summertime. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And now let's jump in. Let's start with the designer. Like I said, private collection, so not the cheapest one, but hey, it's still not like 200, 300 pounds. We have from Trussardi, again, uh, from the La Vie, La Vie di Milano collection. I couldn't read. We have limitless, limitless shopping Via della Spiga. Spiga, I think. Via della Spiga. That's the name. I already have um, Emanuele Due. And I absolutely love that one. That's a Nutella tubero scent. And I've read about this one. It's another one that I kind of want, but people were saying that it's too powdery. It's the almond one. I can't remember the name. This one was apple and honey. And people were saying that this one is delicious. It's not exactly what I expected, but I actually kind of love it more. So that's a presentation. I really like their boxes. And then that is... The bottle. We have limitless shopping. Note, opening. Apple, honeycomb, and bergamot. Middle, we have honey, jasmine, mahonial, I think, and rose. And then right down, we have tonka bean, musk, heliotrope, and something else I can't pronounce. When I first sprayed this one, I don't know why I thought it's going to be a very, very fresh green apple and then some sweetness in the background. Well, it's not that. When I first sprayed this one, because it was extremely hot outside, I know, shocking for England, but yeah, it was extremely hot outside. I didn't like it. I got something very balsamic, very, I, I just didn't like it. And like I said, I thought it's gonna be a fresh apple. Um, it, it's not, in my opinion. And I thought it was going to be just like amazing for the summertime. Yes, it can be. But for summer evenings, I will not wear this one during the day. I love the scent. For me, it smells exactly like baked apples. And that's it. Like this is what I'm getting in the dry down. I'm getting as well this tonka bean that it's very warm and a bit spicy. But just like a tiny bit. But mostly I'm getting baked apples that's it like i don't necessarily smell honey i'm smelling it's it's sweet it has a sweetness but if you're not telling me this one has honey i will not guess oh this one has honey for me that, that's it it's just baked apples it's not it's definitely not spicy and boozy as um angel shell from killian i didn't really like that one but it's not as fresh as uh, La Danza delle Libellule from Nobile 1942 because that one also smells like like an apple pie what is it let me spray it actually let's spray both of them oh yeah and this one is like way 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 sweeter it's fresher but like way sweeter no this one is generally is like baked apples and that's it my only complaint is it doesn't really project. Like it's pretty soft. If um, Emanuele Due performs pretty well, like I, I didn't have any problems with the sillage, with the lasting power. This one is very soft and it just feels like it should be a bit stronger, just a tiny bit. It's not just the paper I've tested on my skin. I wore it once, it's pretty soft not sure how it's gonna maybe it's gonna perform better when it's uh, actually cold outside have no idea but right now it's warm it's not hot it's not freezing cold cold it's just like okayish and it doesn't really project or last or anything like that but the sand is very good 
but no no i thought that similar they're not okay they're not this one it's uh, way sweeter way fresher this one is baked apples that's it yeah i do really like it and i do really like the bottle um i'm still intrigued by the other one i can't remember the name um it's an almond like powdery almond with some iris but people see that it's very powdery and i don't really like that thing um yeah check this one out if you have i know a true Sardi boutique if uh, they carry this private collection try this one out because i think it's very uh, pleasant i don't think it's something that you're gonna be like oh i hate it um might not be what you're looking for because like i said i thought it's going to be a very fresh apple and then some sweetness in the background for me the, the apple is not necessarily fresh it's exactly it's most exactly baked apples basically um yeah so the first thing that we have in here is from trusardi and this one it's limitless shopping via della spiga let's move on let's move on we have from theo cabanel je ne sais quoi i said that i'm gonna buy it and I did. I got just a 30 ml. I really like that the packages um, doesn't change. Obviously, just the the size for the same packaging uh, for the 30 and for the 100 ml. You have the box. You have inside a little pouch, and then that is the bottle. Je ne sais quoi. It's a scent I discovered probably like one year, two years ago, and I really want to buy it. And then Maison Martin Margiela was uh, releasing Matcha Meditation. The notes sound like very very similar so i said i'm just gonna go with that one because i know it's easier to find i blind bought that one and i liked it but it was a bit too green a bit too citrusy for me and then they sent me all of their samples the cabana is a bit for that and uh, they sent me all of the samples and then i basically rediscovered je ne sais quoi and i've decided to purchase it so i bought this one from their official website my own money all of that um shipping is coming from france and it took around like five working days which is great no complaint about that and the scent boy the scent is just something else it's so unique oh, i love it je ne sais quoi has opening rice middle we have matcha tea mate and violet leaf and right down we have sandalwood Tolu balsam, Gaia Kut, and Haitian vetiver. Whew. You need to like matcha, okay? Matcha meditation from Maison Martin Margiela was too citrusy, was too green. This one smells like matcha powder with like rice pudding. In the opening, it's mostly matcha. It's like, I don't know, 65% matcha powder, 35% rice it's green okay like matcha obviously it's green so it's gonna smell very very green when it starts to dry down it's getting the matcha is not as strong anymore and it's getting more like ricey it smells like rice pudding basically it's delicious in a weird way and then in the dry down it has the same sandalwood as it is in um olala I have Olala, absolutely love it. Um, it has exactly the same type of sandalwood in the dry down. I just love it. It's something that you need to try. You 100% need to try because it, it can be a fail, but it can be like a massive success. I absolutely love it. I purchased one. What I'm telling you to do is, what I recommend, not telling you, what I recommend you to do, go on their website. They have the discovery kit where you can like, try all of their um, perfumes. It's 25 pounds, no, not pounds, euros. It's 25 euros. And then you're getting a voucher and you can spend that 25 euros on a bottle. So you can decide which one you like. This one, it's amazing. Olala, it's amazing. Rendezvous, it's very nice as well. Cafe Cabanel, it's very nice as well. My favorites are these two, Je ne sais quoi and Olala. And I think the 30 mil, it's around, it was 56 euros, 56 euros. So if you have 25, euros discount that's what 31 euros that in pounds is gonna be like 28 pounds designers designers are not selling 30 mil bottles for 30 pounds okay they're not doing that they're selling them right now for like 50 so i think i feel like it's a very good price and you can first discover all of them see what you like and then get the full bottle the 30 mil the 100 mil which like which one you want 
but this one it's so unique even though like i said yes it's more similar to matcha meditation i, I feel like this one came um, came up first i do prefer this one like i do prefer this one the, the rice like that rice pudding note is way way stronger and even though it's green i don't like this type of greenness because it's like i don't know it doesn't smell like grass it's like matcha green it's so good it's refreshing and like i said delicious in a very weird way absolutely love it um i can i just got this one like recently it's very strong i just tested it, test it on my skin a couple of times and it's very 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 strong so for a summer scent this is just like amazing because it's gonna last you the whole day so we have it here from teo cabanel je ne sais quoi Talking about perfumes that have a tea note, let's move on to Nishane Oolong Cha. Uh, I have the box in here. Basically, this sleeve, it's just impossible to remove, so I didn't even try. That's the box, that's the presentation, and then that is the bottle. I th I've tested this one once, very quickly. It was just there, and I, I remember liking it. But it wasn't like a love and then i feel like notino had a sale or something and i just like 90 pounds so i couldn't say no for 90 pounds i know it's just a 50 ml but i remember really liking it so i was like no let's go for it ulung cha has notes bergamot orange mandarin orange and lychee in the opening middle we have tea and nutmeg and right down we have fig and musk if je ne sais quoi was very strong this one it's beast mode it's extremely strong opening what you're getting is for me tea but like warm tea not hot tea not cold tea just warm tea and then with lots of like orange bergamot and um, very very citrusy on top and very orangey on top as well and the tea it's a bit spicy as well just a tiny 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 bit that's from probably from the nutmeg in the dry down it's not um that citrusy anymore it's still very orangey and it smells more like concentrated warm not like very um hot but like warm tea with orange i do really like the scent like i do really like it is it something i'm gonna wear every single day no but do i like it yes it's very refreshing but in a different way because obviously you have the tea note people are saying this one it's like a more um, sophisticated version of um green tea from elizabeth arden i've never tested that one okay i never had that one so i don't know people are saying this is like the better version of it and obviously the way more expensive version of it but i do really like it it's unisex like very unisex not really sweet just like a tiny bit like a tiny bit it's not bitter it's not anything like that but it's not like a sweet gourmet like oh sweet like vanilla no but it's, it's a good one it's just a good one i do really like the opening but i do much more prefer the dry down again i feel like the opening it's a bit too citrusy just a bit too citrusy but that orange with the tea and the nutmeg in the in the dry down is beautiful and it's beast, beast, beast more. Like this thing is gonna last you like the whole day. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with this one. So we have from Nishane Oolong Cha. The next one that we have in here, surprise, surprise, is coming from Nishane again. We have Zene. That is the presentation. Again, this sleeve is absolutely impossible to remove. Um, and that is the bottle. Zene it's a scent that I wanted to try for like the longest time. I saw Spicy Looks, Nisha from uh, Spicy Looks talking about this one and she made me want to like want it. Like I wanted it so bad. But then I read reviews online and people were saying it's a bit too metallic, it's a bit too like, I don't know, tart. And I was like, mm, okay, fine. And I found a sample. Finally got a sample when I smelled it. I was like, what are they talking about? This is beautiful like it smells exactly the way she described this one zene has blackcurrant rhubarb and grapefruit in the opening middle we have turkish rose gardenia and sandalwood and right down we have vanilla ambergris and musk this scent 
first of all, the vanilla in this perfume reminds me a lot of the vanilla in um, 100 Silent Ways, again from Michonne. I had that one, I decluttered that one, I really liked it. it. I don't know, it just wasn't doing it for me. I don't know why. I loved it when I first tasted it. And then I was just never wearing it. This one has kind of the same vanilla. We are definitely getting the fruity notes. You're definitely getting the rhubarb, you're getting the black currant, you're getting the rose. It does have something a bit metallic, not gonna lie. But I do really like it. Like, it doesn't smell like that fruity DNA that, um, I don't know, Kirke has, Herba, um, Herba Pura, yeah, Herba Pura from Zerjov has. It's not that, it's different. And I like that. And the rose with all of the fruity notes reminds me a tiny bit of flamenco from uh, Ramon Monegal. Not duped by any means, just like that combination, you know, between um, the rose and some fruity notes. That one's like way stronger on the raspberry, they're not the same. I'm telling you, it's so pure. It, not beautiful, it's like sexy. Because, like, beautiful, you're gonna feel about like innocent, not like it's a very beautiful scent, but it's a very sexy scent in the same time. Being fruity, which usually doesn't really happen, like, if a scent is sexy, then it's like vanilla or gourmand or I don't know, like dark and sexy. No, this one is fruity. But that thing that people are saying that it's a bit metallic, I can smell it and I feel like that's exactly that. I don't know that element that makes this perfume very sexy. I do really like it. It's not as beast mode, okay, as um, the previous one, but it still has like decent lasting power, decent projection, but the smell is good. Like, it's good, okay? If you can find a sample, definitely check this one out. I'm pretty sure all of the perfumes are unisex. This one, in my opinion, it's more feminine. Ulung Chai is definitely unisex. This one, this one, it's feminine, in my opinion. It's like sweet, it's fruity, it's flirty. You can wear whatever you want, obviously, but just in case you weren't really sure, for me, it leans feminine. Yeah, really, really like it. Like, really like the scent. So happy that I got it. And um, so happy that I found the sample because, like I said, Fragrantica scared me. Fragrantica comments really scare me, but it's good. It's a good one. So we have from Nishane um, Zene. And the last one that we have in here, I already made a video, like a special video for this fragrance. So I'm just going to very quickly mention it. It's Ruby and Vanilla Neroli. This perfume is something else. It's absolutely stunning. If you like the original Ruby and Vanilla Intense, you are going to adore this one. It's basically the same DNA. Oh, let, me, let me spray here. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh my, this is so unique, especially for summer evenings. It's gonna be stunning. It's Neroli, it's orange blossom. Oh, it's it's everything. It's just everything. You have vanilla. It, it has a bit of lavender as well. It's so complex. It's such a complex um, fragrance. Check that video because I explained in there everything. It's completely beast mode. It's where like every single painting is just stunning. So stunning and it's so strong like probably this one is the strongest summer scent that i have yeah yeah definitely it's more like summer evenings but it smells so rich it smells so expensive it's just it's beautiful i love it so the last scent that we have in this haul is from ebk and this one is ruby and vanilla neroli and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below um what new fragrance you added to your collection what new summer fragrance um i know you bought or you want to buy and yeah let me know if you ever tested any of these if you like them if you don't and all of that and that was it for today thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to big thumbs up subscribe to my channel activate the notification bell please 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 so you're gonna be notified all the time when i post a new video and yeah that was it i'm gonna see you in my next video Bye bye